Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we have the Mega Bloks Halo vs. Covenant Locust Attack. I, I got this at Target. It's a very cool set. I have, um, I would compare it to the other Locust, but I did not purchase the other one, so I have this one. But from what I've heard, it's a lot better in quality than the other Locust. So first, you get a regular manual, 20-something pages. Mine came with two of these for some reason, I'm not sure why. But, to the box, right here we have uh, all the set information and a little QR code if you want to scan that. you got the red EVA over here and the blue CQB over here. The cool red and blue overlapping, and of course you got the whole animation. And on the back you got the names of the characters you get, all the other sets. And then of course a little animation of what the Locust does. But right here it says, Versus Covenant Locust Attack. Red Team takes control of the new Covenant Locust with the Red Combat Elite, trying to capture the territory occupied by the Blue Team. An incoming Blue EVA and CQB Spartan ride at top speed on the new UNSC Desert Mongoose, determined to even the odds. So that's the box. And the Mongoose in the set is surprisingly way better than the other ones. All of the other ones. Just because when you wanted someone to ride on the old Mongooses, it didn't exactly... It, it looked kind of weird because there was no place for him to rest his legs, really. It just hung off. So I'll get to that in a second, but you get three minifigures with this. You get a blue CQB with a black rocket launcher. Looks very nice, I like him. Next you get another cool blue EVA Spartan. I think this is my third EVA that I have. My camera will focus. 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 There we go. So you get a blue EVA armed with a brute launcher. Looks very nice, nice detailing on him. Nice blue coat of paint. Looks very nice. Then you get a cool um, Halo 3 style red elite for the red team. So he has the Halo 3 style armor and he comes armed with a blue energy sword. Very nice detailing on him. The armor is very nice and detailed too, which is nice. Then you get, uh, this, this isn't a minifigure, but you get the flag. For the capture the flag stuff, I guess. Looks very cool with kind of the skull thing. Then you have the UNSC emblem on the flag, and it's just easily assembled in a couple of pieces. Next, we have the uh, Desert Mongoose. A lot better than the other ones. This is my third one, but um, there are a couple sticker stickers on here, as always. But uh, as you can see, there's a little difference in the back here. So when the guy holds on, he can actually rest his feet on this little plate, so he can stand up better, unlike the other ones. So that is very nice. It's a good little detail they added there. And the, the armor on this is kind of a nice desert tan. And uh, it's uh, pretty much the same except for uh, this little plate in the back. But he's got black tires for this, and like I said, there's a couple of stickers. And instead of assembling this and this in one big piece, it's I mean in, in two small pieces, it's actually one big piece. Then you just put this right on. So there's fewer pieces to assemble this, and it's easier to assemble than the other ones. It takes like a couple minutes. So that is the desert tan more use. I'm sure what most of you want to see is the uh, Covenant Locust. Very cool. He has uh, fully articulated legs. You can, there's a hinge there, and there are hinges here. And you can pose them any way you'd like. And the uh, legs swivel too, if you really want them to. But there are a couple, there are a lot of stickers on the legs, and a couple on the side right here of the head. But the head does rotate. It doesn't go 360 degrees because these block it in the back. But to get your pilot in here. You simply just lift that up, and there is a little chair right there where you can uh, hold him. There's a little peg to clip onto his back. Then you simply just close it, and it is hinged on on the back in here. You can't really see it, but you, you just clip it on there when you uh, assemble it, and it stays there for good, so it's very cool. Out to the back, you have these cool kind of fuel energy canister things. I'm not entirely sure what they're for. But they look pretty cool. They're awesome. You assemble two of them and clip them onto the back. But the legs. You assemble each leg in two parts. First you build four of these kind of like uh, thigh things. Then you build the main legs. And these main legs do swivel if you want them to. Just like these ones. Just these ones swivel a little bit more. So you make... You first make legs like this. And then you make uh, other ones like this that are a little more curved at the end. But uh, then you have this kind of, I don't know what this is for, it's armor or something. But uh, it does look very cool. If you've, if you've ever played a Halo Wars, you know that locusts are bad news. They're 
pretty much little miniature scarabs that can take out a lot of enemies at once. They're, they shoot a laser just like a scarab, just on a smaller scale, but still does the same amount of damage. But, for the detailing, you can see there's some nice detailing on this uh, swiveling head. Very nicely painted and detailed. Good detailing matched into the sides right here. But as for that, everything else is just built so there won't be any more detail. But, anyways guys, that is it for the uh, Covenant Locust Attack Review. It'll run you $30. I bought it at Target. But it will run you $30. It's worth it though, because you get a lot for just $30. Surprisingly a lot. You get a cool, brand new, newly designed Locust. You get Desert Tan Mongoose with uh, two blue guys. Then you get the Red Flag with the awesome Halo 3 style Red Elite. So all in all, it is a great set. It's not as for challenge and building. It's not very challenging at all. It'll take you maybe at, at most an hour. Surprisingly, the Locust was um, easier to build than I thought. I thought it would take a while. But you actually just build this part right here. Then you put the head on it. Then you just build the legs and you attach the legs when you're done. So it's very easy. The Mongoose, exceptionally easy. Then you don't need to assemble the minifigures. But the flag is also easy to assemble. It assembles in like... Uh, four or five pieces, but it is very cool. Very nice addition to my Halo Wars Mega Box collection. As you can see, I have a lot of Halo Wars Mega Box everywhere. But anyways guys, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.